morning and welcome to the fifth meeting of the Writers to the Signet Dependents Annuity Fund Amendment Scotland Bill Committee. Can I remind all those present, including members, that mobile phones should be turned off? Our first item of business is to identify whether any of the amendments lodged adversely affect private interests. Members will have seen the procedural note circulated in advance of the meeting which sets out the process in detail. We only have one amendment to consider. I am content that this amendment seeks only to update the definition of actuary. It does not adversely affect any private interests. Are the members agreed? agreed? Thank you. In that case, can we move on immediately to the disposal of the amendment and debate on the bill? Our task today is to consider the one amendment which has been formally lodged by a member of this committee, Amendment 1, in the name of Tom Arthur. In addition, we are required to formally agree to each provision of the bill at the appropriate point. Only members of this committee are permitted to participate in these proceedings. Members should have with them the bill and the marshalled list. As there is only one amendment, there are no groupings. I call on Amendment 1 in the name of Tom Arthur on behalf of the promoter. Tom Arthur, can I ask you to move and speak on Amendment 1? Thank you, Convener, and good morning. Uh, during the meeting of the Writers to the Signet Dependents Annuity Fund Amendment Scotland Bill Committee on 20 September 2017, it was said on behalf of the promoter that an amendment to the bill might be brought forward in relation to the definition of actuary. That was intended to achieve a degree of future-proofing in relation to further changes that might be made by the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. As things stand, the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries allows its fellows to use the designation Fellow of the Institute of Actuaries or Fellow of the Faculty of Actuaries, depending on how they become fellows. There is therefore no difficulty, in terms of the bill as drafted, in identifying a person who meets the proposed definition. However, the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries also defines a fellow in its bylaws as a fellow of the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries, and a person is such a fellow whether they use the designation Fellow of the Institute of Actuaries or Fellow of the Faculty of Actuaries. As a definition in the bylaws covers both type of fellow, and to take account of the possibility that the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries might change the use of designations at some stage in the future, the promoter's view is that the definition used in the bylaws is more appropriate. Therefore, convener, I wish to move the amendment in my name. Thank you. Any other members have any comments? We're fine. We're all fine. Okay. Tom Arthur, I well, you wish to, would you wish to wind up and either press to withdraw or with, press uh, withdraw? Uh, thank you, convener. I wish to press. You wish to press. Thank you. Okay, so moving on, the question really is that Amendment 1 be agreed by everyone. Are we all agreed? Okay. Section 1, are we all agreed? Okay. Sections 2 and 3 are agreed. Are we all agreed with that? Okay. I would also like to ask that the long title be agreed. Are we all agreed? Okay. That ends the consideration stage of the bill. The Parliament has not yet agreed the date for the final stage. Any member of the Parliament may lodge amendments for final stage, this, um, final stage as amended print of the bill will be available on the Parliament's website by tomorrow morning. It is for me as convener of the Private Bill Committee to lodge the motion necessary for the Parliament to decide whether the bill is be passed. Are members content for me to lodge a motion proposing that the bill be passed? Thank you. That closes the meeting. Thank you.